Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to do some dart manipulations in Clo 3D. To start with, let's come over and make a rectangle. In my fabric window over here, I'm going to add a pattern to it. So go to the base color map and I'm going to bring in this pattern and you can use any pattern for this. I'm going to use the texture manipulation tool over here. That's the edit texture tool. Click on it and we're going to make this bigger and it's hard to tell exactly how big to make it. So let's come up and make the surface translucent. And that allows us to see through somewhat and get an idea of the size of the shoulder line specifically. I'm going to scale this up just a little bit and yeah, that looks good. That will land about on her shoulder and then be in the right place here, I believe. So once that looks good, we're going to hit G and grab the internal line tool. And I'm going to click and trace around this. Because this pattern already has darts, we're going to just draw them to be included and then we're going to convert them into actual darts in Clo 3D. The trace pattern tool and I'm just going to kind of click and drag across all those, right click and then we'll trace it as a pattern. There we go. Go back into my fabric here and I'm going to trash that uh, pattern because I don't need it anymore. A and that will allow me to get rid of all those extras. Okay, so there it is. Z tool. I'm going to click the center line. I'm going to right click and unfold with sewing. Okay. And then uh, we're going to convert these. So let's select both of these lines. We're going to right click and we're going to shape the dark cap. And what that's going to do is create this little line here and that's going to curve the pattern so that when these two are sewn together, this will fall back into a straight line. Hit enter and you can see that it curved it off there. And now let's uh, move this one into position on the body. Okay. And it might be a little big. Or sorry, it might be a little small. Let's make it a little bit big and then we can uh, maybe change that later. Okay, so I'm gonna move this one off to the side and I'm gonna make another one here using the polygon. And I'm gonna start high on the neck because this is gonna be an open neck. And then I want that reference line there to be about where the bottom is. I don't have to be perfect because so I'm going to come back and I'm going to change these in a minute. So curve tool. Let's try and get these at least close. And I think my bottom here is a little bit too big. So I'm just going to kind of guess at it for now. Grab these two lines and move it over. Okay. I know that's not perfect. That's totally okay because I'm going to get these measurements. So if I click on here with the Z tool, I see I have 4.941. And for this one, let's right click it and we'll change the length. 4.191. And you can also see where it starts and stops. So I'm going to go here with uh, end and it's going to push it out from the neck. And that looks right. Let's do the same thing for this one. That one's 4.590, or oh, sorry, 7.590. Change length, 7.590. And you can see that I want to go from, in this case, the end. And it really just depends on your design. Um, let's get the center line measurement. And an easy way to do that is just bring it over. Okay, that looks pretty good, and I'm going to click this line, and then I'm going to adjust the whole line by bringing it up here. Okay, 
So now these are about the same size. They're fitted and I have to adjust this curve. So it doesn't look crazy there. Okay. Now they're about the same. Those measurements should work and I'm going to unfold with symmetric sewing. Okay. Happy with that. 3D window, let's bring it over and I'm going to hit control G to flip the normal. So the outside now is on the correct area and let's sew them with the segment sewing tool. We're just going to sew the near to near and you can see that looks pretty good. Hit simulate and then because we started with a kind of a handmade dart, we'll have to sew those. If you make a dart on your own, usually it'll work out just fine. Um, it'll already be sewn. Now let's do a couple things. Let's take all these points, select them with Z. Come down a few clicks and there we go. Okay, my darts aren't exactly right. They should point to but not through the bust. So I'm just gonna move those manually down. Okay, that looks a little better and it fits okay. Uh, last thing I'll do is I've already made a fabric that has uh, stripes on it, but same method um, as with the pattern. So that looks good. And now we're gonna manipulate these darts. So I'm gonna put the white fabric back on it just so we can see. Um, to manipulate these darts, or move them, change their position. We're gonna select the dart and it should select the whole thing. And you have these lines, right? That show what or where the dart is located. That's this kind of arrow here. So now we wanna rotate this dart, but because I moved the dart and you can see that that's um, dart is up there, I need to reshape the dart cap. So shape dart cap, it's gonna now move that dart over and we just hit enter and it's reshaped it to its new location. And we can uh, just temporarily move it, but we always have to reshape. Now we have the option to rotate dart. And we're gonna choose a point. I'm just gonna go up on the shoulder. I'll do a shoulder dart. I'm gonna click and pull down to about where I think it needs to be. And you can see now it will uh, rotate the dart. And then I can choose the dart length lastly. And I think that's going to be okay about there. I need to make it a little bigger. And if I do kind of rotate it like that, um, I will need to come in and reshape the dart. So again, over here, shape dart cap. Hit enter, and that looks good. Okay, so now I have that one done and Sometimes things flip over just like that. Okay, so this new one is here and let's uh, apply that fabric again to it. And you can see that that dart works. So straighten that out, good. Now, the remnants of the old dart are still there on the screen. And we may wanna get rid of those. You can do that, but they're not gonna be there in the render anyway. They're, they're, they're just sort of there to tell you but if you um, don't like them being on your screen, you can always right click on them. It's a little bit of a pain because you have to like find a point, delete it, then find the line. And that does get rid of that dart information. So just know that anytime you do that or anytime you manipulate, you do have to go back and edit or reshape the dart. So in this case, that's fine, that looks good, and we're gonna move on. So I'm gonna show you one more dart manipulation. Okay, for this dart manipulation, we're gonna come down the center and take out some material. This is a more advanced type of dart. So for this one, I'm gonna use a series of internal lines. So grab my internal line tool, and I'm gonna come down and grab an internal line like that and hit enter. And you can see that comes uh, part way down the front of the bust. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here, except this time I'm just gonna come to the center because my uh, 
pattern is symmetric. So in other words, the other side of that one does show up over there. That looks great. And then use the Z tool on this internal line and we're gonna cut. And it's gonna do a little minor split so you can then come really close and open that up. And that should split all the way down. And now for this one, we're gonna do one more internal line goes from here to about here. Hit enter. That looks good. Z tool with it selected and we're going to cut. And then I'm going to cut this one. And that removes that chunk. Now I can get rid of that piece of the fabric there. And we're going to segment sew these together. We will have to do an adjustment to the bottom, obviously here, to round out the hemline on that one. And additionally, we may need to add a little bit of a curve. This is kind of equivalent of uh, doing a dark cop, but then you also might need to do some other dark manipulations along the side seams here. But this is a really basic setup for uh, doing dark manipulations enclosed 3d basically how it works and those of you who are in my class you're going to make three dart manipulations or more um, showing how you know how to rotate darts and uh, manipulate them according to whatever your bodice needs are